Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the surfboard guide, we're going to check out the Mod Mini by Modem Surfboards. So the Mod Midi I've been riding is a stock 5.8 and it comes in at 5.8 by 20 by 2.5 and, and it's 31.5 litres. So people might be familiar with Modem. I guess over the last decade or so they've been making some pretty cool um, traction, leg rope, board bags and kind of surf accessories. Uh, I think they brought out a softboard a year or two ago. Well they've just come to the market with a range of um, you know kind of user friendly um, you know performance kind of surfboards. So this here is the Mod Mini, uh, which is kind of like a small wave, versatile shape. Um, and it actually looked very familiar to two of my kind of favorite boards, which would be the Cafe Racer and the Hypto Crypto. So it was pretty frothing to check it out. Um, so looking over the Mod Mini, uh, it's pretty flat. Like it is a small wave design, not a lot of rocker in it, uh, just enough to keep you out of trouble. Um, rails are really soft and kind of full, so it holds a lot of volume through the rail, making it really easy to surf. And another cool thing about the Mod Mini, up the front here, it actually has a beak on the nose. Uh, so those are familiar with a beak, kind of holds a lot of volume and then it thins out like your normal nose. But it just allows the board to hold a lot more volume under the front foot and under your chest. So that just makes paddling and kind of moving forward uh, much easier and just makes the board really, really easy to surf. surf. Uh, flipping over the Mod Mini, uh, it's a pretty simple bottom as well. There's a single concave up the front and it just comes through to a double through the fins and that will just make that rail to rail stuff really easy and just kind of keep water moving through the board. Uh, 31 and a half litres, a little bit more than what I normally ride. So it gives it really nice kind of trim. Um, it's really easy to get into waves and it's super, super easy to surf. Uh, as I said, with that beak in the nose, the front of the board holds quite a lot of volume. But then when you come to the back end of the board, as you can see, this tail just narrows out and it has a really nice round tail uh, and it kind of thins under your back foot as well. So it's actually quite a little performance like tail on the back of the board. So you can get into things nice and easy up the front. You know, it planes really well, it trims down the line really easily. But then if you can get on your back foot and you can surf, uh, you can actually do some pretty epic little turns and surf it more like a performance shortboard. Um, and while there is this bulk at the front, it doesn't feel too weighty through turns and stuff. So it's been quite a lot of fun to surf. Uh, and like I said, I've actually kind of pushed it uh, in some waves that have been larger, you know, four or five foot kind of overhead. Um, it's been epic to kind of, cause you got that volume under your chest and you can paddle in nice and easy. So you can get under the crest in some slabby and sucky waves and I actually surfed it in a, a local reef break here. And it was absolutely perfect for that. And like I said, it's fairly flat but it had enough rocker just to keep you out of trouble. So, you know, there wasn't too much it could do. Mini, this is such a simple and easy to use surfboard that you can pretty much use any fin set up in it. So primarily I've been riding the John Johns by Futures Fins. Um, so they, if you're used to Futures Fins and the ride number system, they have a ride number of four. Um, the John John Techflex here, super easy to use fin, um, really nice to surf um, and it just kind of complements the board. Uh, I also surfed in at the AM2s by Futures, which is a large AM. And I also rode the T1, so that's a two plus one, so a twin with a small stabilizer, and that felt absolutely mental. Um, so we filmed some footage, as you'll see, for the review, and this is what we rode in most of that review, but actually um, I got a chance to check out 
Futures have just brought out a new Geordie signature fin, um, and that has a ride number of 5.5. So this is a raked fin. It's very similar to the AM2, uh, a little bit different, but, but similar to the AM2 is in the um, side fins are larger and the center fin is just slightly smaller. So what that does, it gives you a little bit of release through your turns. You can kind of get that tail out if you're capable of it. Um, and these felt epic in the board too. Like I said, it's a simple board, it's easy to surf, and I think pretty much putting any of your favorite fin set, setups in it um, would work perfectly. Uh, the Mod Mini is 31 and a half liters. In a performance shortboard, I tend to go around 29 and a half, probably pushing more towards 30 these days. Um, so this is around a liter, liter and a half more than I own a shortboard, which felt absolutely perfect. Um, this is a stock 5.8, um, and this is um, 31 and a half liters, and they also do a stock 5.6, which is 29 and a half. And I was toying between the two sizes, not sure what to get. But considering this is something I want to take down the beach with a family on small and average days, uh, I went up with the volume and it was absolutely perfect. Uh, surfing average little waves, you know, I'm in lineups with mouths and people on foamies and that. Uh, this was getting on everything and that little bit of extra volume was absolutely perfect. So if you're thinking of looking one, I'd probably look at your shortboard or your performance kind of volumes and just go to the next sizing up. You know, don't add too much foam, I don't think you want it massive. Um, but this felt absolutely perfect. Uh, overall, the Mod Mini was lots of fun to check out. Like I said, it kind of had some similar characteristics of two of my favorite boards, which would be the Hypto Crypto and the Cafe Racer. Uh, so I was frothing to check it out. Um, it's really easy to surf. You can also do some kind of performance surfing on it and the board did not disappoint. Look, I absolutely loved it and hope to get a chance to check it out. Thanks so much for watching today.